Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Courtney and I thought that today we would film a favorites video because why not, right? I've been wanting to do one of these videos and I just thought let's get it done today. Um, I have quite a few things and it's not just like makeup, it's a variety of things because why not? And there's quite a few so I think that we should jump right on in because this might be long. Let's start with skincare because there's only two things and I think we should do that. I recently bought these two things I think like in the beginning of May and I've been using them for quite a few weeks and I've noticed a lot of difference in my skin while using these so like I'm in love with them and they're Korean products but they are cruelty free so this first one I don't know if you can see it it is it says Soul Circles Day Glow Serum it has 20% vitamin C ferulic acid high high hyaluronic acid D alpha Coco Feral. I don't know how to say these. I'm just winging it. But it's an anti aging formula, and um, directions for use are apply daily each morning after cleansing, toning, and exfoliating. And it says to dispense two to three drops onto the palm of a clean hat and use fingertips to massage, massage into face and neck until fully absorbed. I've been using this like like I've said for a few weeks and I've noticed a really huge difference. I noticed a difference like right after I put it on. It's really brightening. Like my face looks really vibrant and it's glowing and I just, I love this stuff. I'm, I bought this on Amazon because I have Amazon Prime and like it's awesome. So I bought this and I mean it's, I don't know what else to say about it but it's awesome. And if you're interested, I'll link these products down below so you can try them out and see if you like them. Next thing is by Coaster X. I don't know. It is this oil-free ultra moisturizing lotion with birch sap. And yeah, I'm not even going to say these words because they're like super complicated. But um, the directions are take a proper amount of lotion and palm on your palm and gently pat on your face for absorption. I have gotten moisturizers that just don't really sink into my skin or they just feel too oily and too like thick and ever since I got this and I started using it like it's just amazing like it feels thick when you first put it on but then like it absorbs in your skin and like it feels so light and it like brightens your skin as well and it's also like calming too so it like calms your skin from having like breakouts or redness or what have you but it's like super good guys and it smells super nice and it wasn't that expensive I really love this stuff and I've been seeing a huge difference like in the texture in my skin and like my breakouts have literally calmed down like I recently got a breakout because you know it was that time of the month and like it always happens and I can't really control it but this really does make a difference. I mean these two. These two are like my babies. I love them. Like I said, if you're interested, I'll link these down below and you can try it out for yourself. That's it for skincare. And let's see, what else can I get into? I'll get into hair stuff because um, I only have like two things as well. I think it's been like three weeks since I've had this. And it's from Lush. I don't know if you can see that. And I forgot the name of this, but I looked it up on my phone. So I'm going to read it to you. This is a shampoo bar, by the way. I've been trying to be like more, I don't know what the word is, like environment friendly. I don't know. Um, I've been trying to use more uh, bars like body bars or like soap bars 
And I recently got a hair conditioner bar that I would have included in here, but like I wasted it. Like I have thick ass hair and that conditioner bar just did not like last me very long. So I don't think I'll be getting that one again, but this one for sure because I've used this like so many times already and it's like, look at this, like, like not even touched. So this one is called Karma Comba and it says, Get great hair by washing with our hippie shampoo bar. This gently cleanses puck scent locks with our signature Karma perfume full of orange, pine, and patchouli oils. I hope I'm saying that right. To keep your scalp smooth and toned. For those with naughty hair, the oils in Karma also help smooth hair, allowing you to brush it without pulling your hair out. This stuff smells amazing. Like, I smell it like, like I use it in the shower and that scent will stay in the bathroom for like ever and it's it's supposed to like last you up to 80 washes and like I believe it because I've already washed my hair with this like I don't know how many times and it looks like almost as like brand new like when I got it but yeah it smells really good and it has like a little cute flower so yeah I I recommend these if you know you kind of want to like cut back on your use of like I guess like plastic or just, I don't know, you just want to cut down on like trash or whatever. I think getting these is worth it and it really will last you a long time. The conditioner bars I'm not too sure about. I I mean I have really like thick wavy hair and it just did not last me long. So yeah, give it a try if you're interested. Uh, I like it. I really think it works on my hair and like... It makes it feel like really refreshed and it smells good and it makes my scalp feel good. I don't know why that's a thing, but it does. Okay, next. It's not a hair product, but I guess you would say it's an accessory. But I got this. I, mean, I got this hairbrush a while ago, but like, I don't know. This is a favorite like all the time. It's like an angel hairbrush and it's super cute it's like really pink and it's like a detangling brush which I need because my hair is so thick it gets tangled easily so you know it doesn't look thick right now but believe me it's thick so um yeah I just thought this was really cute I got it on Amazon too but um <laughs> I don't know I saw this online I forgot who had it I was like on my popular search feed on Instagram and I was like okay I gotta have this. I didn't even know where to get it, but I just searched angel brush, angel hairbrush or whatever, and this popped up. So I got it because I am an angel and I am a princess and I needed this even though, you know, I can just get a regular brush. But it wasn't even that expensive, so I got it and it's really, really cute and pink like me. I think like everybody needs this brush in their life so yeah this is definitely a favorite and I love it what, can I, what else can I say I love it I guess we should do like body stuff because I only have like one thing that I've been using and it's this love beauty and planet Mura Mura Butter and Rose Bountiful Moisture Body Wash For lush moisture and acts of love for our planet So yeah, um, my husband actually got me this And I know you can find this brand at Target because I've seen it before And I know they have more than like one scent I guess But yeah, it says it's organic coconut oil, natural Mura Mura Butter Am I saying that right? I don't know if I am Ethically sourced roast plant-based cleansers, mild cleansers, and it's vegan, which is awesome because I'm vegan, so, and it's not tested on animals. And this bottle is made from 100% recycled plastic. So yeah, I'm almost done with this. Um, I probably would have finished it by now, but like I said, I'm trying to use more bars, so I did get a body bar. It was like cherry blossom scented, but I already ran out of that and I need a new one, but I've had this one for quite a while, so I've been using this one since I ran out of my bar, and I love it. It smells so good. It smells like, 
It smells like rose, but it also smells like a really fancy perfume. But yeah, it, it makes my skin feel really soft, I'm not gonna lie, it really does. And it's very moisturizing and it feels really nice on the body, so... I think this was only like six bucks, so I feel like that's pretty good because you get a good amount, you know. But, um, yeah, it said go easy on the tap, I didn't, <laughs> and I wasted it. But yeah, I love the packaging, the packaging is really cute. And I love the roses, and I love anything like rose scented, because rose is like one of my favorite scents. So yeah, that's that. You know what, let's jump into these accessories here. Well, I only have like one thing. But I recently got glasses again, because if you don't know, I am a mom, and I do have a little boy, and um, he recently broke my glasses. <laughs> Uh, I had to get new ones. I got these ones. I don't know if you can tell. They're like pink plastic. But guys, these were like seven bucks. I got these online at Zenny Optical. And if you never heard of it, like it's like an online glasses store. And you, if you have your prescription and everything, you just put it in. And they do the work for you and they get it sent to your home and some of the glasses are really inexpensive and affordable which is awesome because I've bought in glasses for like 200 bucks and like who wants to spend that much on glasses because they can't see like for real so um yeah I got these and they're really cute they're really comfortable and I was like for seven bucks like heck yes and they're pink so like why not but yeah they look really cute I don't know if you can... I really like them. But yeah, they're super cute. Um, I'll link them down below too if you're interested and just like the website in general because, you know, if you're on a budget like I am, uh, that site is like really, really like amazing. And you don't have to like break your back just to pay for glasses. Also, these earrings, I don't know if you can see them, they're like little hearts and I've been wearing them throughout May, they're super cute, they're only like, I think like, I, I don't know if you can see them, can you see them guys? Probably, probably not, I don't know, but I got them at Forever 21 and they're super comfortable and like, I'm... My ears are super sensitive, so if I wear like big earrings and they feel heavy, like my ears will like hit me at the end of the day. So I love that these, they're kind of like medium sized, and but they feel really light. So I've been wearing them a lot and they're just super, super cute. I like heart shaped earrings. I've been looking for like heart shaped earrings for forever. Like I know you can buy them online, but like I'm really picky with which ones I want. So I found these and I was like, these are really cute. So I got them, and they're like my favorite. I also got these other um, glasses, earrings that say girl power on them. And I haven't worn them yet because they are pretty big and pretty heavy, but I'm trying to plan an outfit to wear them with. So yeah, I'll keep you updated on that. These next two things my husband got for me for Mother's Day, and I fell in love because I love both of these things very, very much. So I guess let's start off with this. If you all don't know yet, I am a huge, 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 sorry. I'm a huge Boko no Hero Academia fan. And um, I also love Portugal. So my husband was kind enough to surprise me with a little pop figure. And I don't know if you can see her. Let me he's doing. Look at how cute she is, guys. Like, <laughs> I love her so much. But yeah, I love her. And I don't know how many times I have said that already, but I really do. And I don't know why I waited until now to have her, but I'm just glad I have her now. So yeah, and what was super cute too is that I got um, my husband, I forgot what it was for, but I got him a Bakugo pop too. So I thought it was cute. Like we both got each other 
little pops from our favorite anime. So yeah, um, I love her and I can't wait to collect the rest of them. I saw a pre-order for Todoroki and I love him too and it looks so amazing like I'm super excited for it. I'm ready to like give my wallet. But yeah, I think she's really cute and I'm glad I got her. And this next thing was another gift from him as well. It's this Guridama uh, mug cup. But look at how cute, guys. Like, <laughs> look at him. He's there wrapped in his little white. Okay, white, is that what it's called? <laughs> and then right here, it says it's him just being easy. Right there, that's me all the time. And then his little butt. <laughs> um, it says like snooze, whatever, not listening, and like that's a mood. <laughs> but yeah, I love collecting mugs and I love tea. So I have a new favorite mug and it's really cute. Like, I don't know. I love him. I have a lot of little cute, little cute, like figurines of him and keychains and stuff and like I just can't get over how cute he is like oh he's just so cute and I don't know just comment down below what your favorite Sanrio character is because I have more than one but he's definitely like my top five favorite Sanrio characters but yeah this is really cute I love it and I think I believe he got a hot topic I don't remember but yeah it's too cute. I think the last things we have are all makeup related. So let's just jump into that. I got this a while back, but I use it like all the time. But it is this Lottie London Blush Crush Powder. Powder? What the heck? A uh, powder blusher? Uh, I got it from for like Forever 21, and the girl couldn't like find the pricing for it, so she gave it to me for like three bucks and I was like oh awesome but I think the packaging is like super cute it has little like hearts on it and it's pink and I don't know if I want to open this because I broke this at a show and I'm super sad I mean it still works but you know it's like super sparkly too oh, don't pay attention to my finger I burnt myself and I had to put a band-aid on it but yeah, it's like super shimmery and pink and like it's the blush I'm wearing right now. I love blush and I love like really pinky blushes. So yeah, this is like my favorite. I use it like almost all the time. I'm trying not to because I don't want to run out of it so fast. Like I love it. It's one of my favorite blushes. So that's that guys. These next two things are from the same brand as well. And I use these like almost all the time, but they, it says Gloss Up Girl, I don't know if you can tell, yeah. And this peachy one is in Friday, and this one is in Aces, and um, let me see if I can show you guys the color. Yeah, it's like a reddish color. But I use these kind of like, um, I'll like stain my lips with it in like the middle of my lips and then kind of like ombre it. And it smells so good. It smells like, um, like watermelon. Like, I don't know if you guys ever had now waiters, but like, I guess like, I know I've had a watermelon flavor and that's kind of what this smells like. It smells so good. Yeah. But I use this a lot, especially this one, because I, I really like the color of this. And then, well, this one is like a peachy color that's super cute, too. I love peachy colors. That's how it looks. It smells the same, but like not as like strong. But yeah, this one's really cute, too. I, I love this color. And then like I'll add extra gloss on top, you know, go all out. These next two things um, are from Sugar Pill. <laughs> what a surprise. 
Um, this one right here is Trinket. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it's Trinket and um, I'm wearing this one right now. It's super cute. But this is how it looks. I mean, I feel like everybody in the world literally probably has this lip color. I mean, I don't blame anybody because this lip color is cute as heck and it's really, like, it's super adorable. It's like a, I don't know how to explain this, it's like a pinky nudish color, like mauve I guess. And then, and then when you like puck your lips, like. Is that the right word? I don't think so, but it has like little gold specks on it and it's like super cute. I love it. I love sugar pill. And this is vegan as well. Just in case all my vegan peeps are curious as well, this is vegan. And you can look cute as heck and be cruelty free. So yeah, this is a fave of mine. I've been using this like constantly, but I feel like a lot of people love this. But like it's too cute not to love. Right? Okay, am I right? And then the next one is a liquid lip color as well. This is Lala. Oh my god, I don't know if you guys can see this. But look at the packaging of this. There's Lala being cute as heck as always. And this one has like, I guess like gold specks as well. I don't know if you'd be able to tell. But um, this is from the Little Twin Stars. X Sugar Pill collaboration and um, y'all as soon as I heard that this was coming out I was like okay I'm jumping in that I'm getting the whole collection I don't even care and that's what I did so yeah I've been using this this one a lot it's like a really pretty pink and I just love the packaging of this like Sugar Pill has the best packaging and like look at the little stars yeah, the, the whole collection was just super cute. I bought the cute little bag as well, and the palette, of course. And I also use this as like, like for my brows as well, because I love doing like colored brows for my looks, so this is really perfect for that. But yeah, I love this one. I love it. It's super cute. Guys, like, Sugar Pill Lake has the best stuff, I swear to god. Next thing, uh, I had to include my Pro Palette. With all the colors I got, I got this during a sale and I was like, oh, I need this, I need these, I need to have it. So yeah, I got all these wonderful and beautiful colors and right now I'm actually wearing some of these shades. I'm wearing Sealed with a Kiss, Frosting on like my inner corner, I don't know if you would be able to tell. And then I'm wearing Kiss Kiss too as well on my outer corner and underneath my eye but yeah these are really awesome guys um they're they're just beautiful like I've been doing my makeup looks with this for like a good while and um, I've been experimenting and stuff but all these colors are really beautiful and it's kind of dirty and I'm sorry about that but uh, it's so hard to get dirty but like these two colors are also my favorite too and Dolly Pop as well Dolly Pop is like my go-to, but also Butter Cupcake and Acid Berry. I don't know, these are all great. Like, it's really hard to like not choose, you know, but I can't wait to get more sugar pill stuff. But yeah, if you are interested in something like this, they also have like the mini pro palette and you can just like try it out and it's not as, I guess, pricey. But yeah, this is definitely worth it, and I'm already sad thinking about all these colors. I might run out of sometime, but I mean, I'll always like restock, of course, but still. They're all amazing, and I love this palette, and it's just like the best. So yeah, this is definitely a favorite of mine. So this one is by a favorite indie makeup brand of mine. Um, this is the Lana Del Rey Cherry Palette. Look at how pretty the pack glitter and red is. 
it's like hand painted as well. There's like a bunch of glitter and then it has Lana Del Rey there being beautiful as always. And yeah, this is from a brand called Sparrow Cosmetics. She is cruelty free and vegan. So that is amazing as always. And she makes a bunch of um, really cute stuff. Like I love her highlighters and I love her blushes. I just love everything. Like I, I can list it all. But um, when she came out with this palette, I was like, yes, because I use a lot of these shades like most of the time. Like these are my go-to shades. So, but these are how the shades look. I hope you can see. I hope they translate well on camera. But yeah, like these shades are so pretty guys, like I've been using change a lot, like as you can see, like I don't know if you can tell, but I actually use that like as my highlight and like my highlight on my nose and I'm always using, like lately I've been using this love shade and the In My Feeling shade, but like 13 Beaches is really pretty, I don't know if you can tell, but like how it shifts, it's super gorgeous. But I've been using this a lot during May. So yeah, I've been using these for the whole month of May. And I just really love these colors, guys. This In My Feelings color is like amazing. And yeah, like I, I mean, if you haven't heard of this brand, um, I'll link their Instagram down below and also their like store website. Um, their stuff is really amazing. Like I definitely recommend that you try um, some of their stuff and if you're a Lana Del Rey fan you'll love this. Each of her of these eyeshadows are um, named by a song from her. It's very um, versatile and you can always, you know, either do something very simple and like a day look or you can go all out and do a night look. I mean, look at all these beautiful shades here. So yeah. Um, I really recommend you check them out and follow them on Instagram if you haven't already and just, you know, support indie brands, guys. This is definitely a favorite that I've been using for the month of May and I'll probably use this till it's gone. Um, the next one is this You Can Be Glow Kit. Um, it's a crystal sugar and I got this on Amazon. I'm always looking for like um, cruelty free brands on Amazon. Yeah I found this brand and I found a bunch of other stuff that I want to get and there's a bunch of dupes. I mean I know this is a dupe but um, let me show you the shades. Okay so this is how the shades look. Look at that shift. Did you see that shift? Yeah, um, this one's called Gumdrop. This one is Marshmallow and this one is Starburst. Starburst is like my favorite. Like, look at that color. It's super beautiful. And Marshmallow is like, it looks like super, like, you put it on, it's like pinky gold. It's super gorgeous. Yeah, I've been using these a lot. Um, I really love the quality of this and this was really inexpensive I think it was like six or seven dollars and I was like okay yeah I'm getting that you guys you guys need to like check this out because I know that they have like a bunch of other stuff and you know it's inexpensive and like hey if you if you can save money but get good makeup like it's a plus you know so yeah I really love this I really love this one and I'll link it down below as well. Okay, the last thing. And these are lashes. And I mean, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I use these lashes in my looks like almost all the time. And um, these lashes are from Featherella. And I love the packaging. Like, the packaging is what got me, too, and, like, I saw how pretty these lashes were, and I was like, I gotta have these, you know, they're cruelty-free, they're vegan, they're fox mink, so you don't need to buy mink lashes anymore, guys, there's fox mink. Like, jump on it, guys. This brand is, like, super cute. They have a bunch of, I have, I'm actually wearing some right now, I don't know if you can tell, 
but um, I'm wearing Angel. And these ones are not in Elope. But yeah, um, I need more from them. Probably the same ones and like some extra few, but I just, I really, this, this is amazing guys. Like these are great. They're, they're really comfortable. Like I have some that are very thick too, but they also feel really comfortable. And I mean, it's cruelty free. Like you guys should be sold by now. I really fell in love with their lashes. I think they're super good quality. I think they're worth the money. I mean, they're not really expensive. And then right here it says it's 100% handcrafted, free from chemical processing or toxic dyes. And then it says to care for your lash, just gently remove lashes and trim off excess bands before use. Avoid using oil-based removers on false lashes. And then look at the little cute little icon. In the, it has a little F with little wings. I, I just, I think that everybody should try these. And yeah. Well guys, we have actually come to the end of all my favorites for the month of May and partially June. Um, but yeah. Um, thank you for watching if you have watched this all the way to the end. Um, please subscribe. Hit that like button. And you know, if you want to see more videos, like this and yeah follow my channel i will have all my social media linked down in the description below and i will definitely have another video up soon i'm not sure what i will do but it will be up soon so yeah thank you for watching again and i hope you all have a lovely lovely day bye